Yeah. The, the, the Patriots mentioned uh, the issue of uh, referendum yeah. and how the National Assembly will come into. That was a major, major yeah. legal debate. It does look like Nigeria has been heading for the last almost yes. 70 years yes. to it's, a journey of nowhere. Oh, you say journey to no destination. Let, let's look, look at the What would you say, Prof, if you have the solution on your left hand to fix the problem? What would you identify as three major Nigeria problems? The first one I will identify is lack of nationhood. Nigeria is a country still yearning for nationhood. What does that mean? What it means is that we are not united. We are still what Chief Obafemi Awolowo once called a piece of geographical expression. Amadou uh, Bello once said it was a piece of historical mistake. Because we were cobbled together on 3rd January 2014 by Lord Lugard, the Southern and Northern Confederates, and the Lagos Colony, after Nigeria had been given her name by a young British author who wrote in the London Financial Times of 8th January 18, um, 1890, 1897, calling it Nigeria, that Niger area. Mm -hmm. That is the first major problem. In other words, we were cobbled together through the direct and indirect rule system that we were operating with all of us already enjoying our independence. The Benin Empire, the Oyo Empire, the Kanem Bonu Empire, the, uh, the ancient um, uh, Ife. We were already independent, having our own systems of government. And we were happy. Jaja for Pobo, Nana of Ichekiri, Oba of Beramino Baise of Benin, who beat the British back with bare knuckles, for which he was deported to Calabar, where he lived and died 27 years later. So such people that were already used to their independence and ways of life, to put them together and say they cannot now discuss their future. Is it the reason for the agitation we see in Nigeria? All this the idea of lack of nationhood. In fact, it is, it is the beginning and the end of it. I can assure you that you were talking about three problems. I identified that one major problem. If you don't have nationhood and nobody believes in Nigeria as a country, if I ask you, Shio, where are you from? You won't say I'm in Nigeria. You first quickly mention your village and then your state. Then you are filling a form. After asking you for your name, the next question is place of origin. You put it town they say local government you put it they say state you put it then they say religion you are already being typified you are already already being profiled to know whether what we want here can come to you or not come to you but how do we resolve this because either we like it you are an ozekome yeah you have your origin yes you are of the edo origin yes and and if you want to do down you can tell who your forefathers are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am an Okimbaloe, yeah. and I can also tell who my forefathers are. Yeah. But can we take away the fact that we are different tongues? Our no. tongues differ. No. And our presidents who have constituted conferences, at least two, two of the presidents have said, you can have every conversation, but the unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable. The former president, Gula Jonathan, said as much. In those kind of conversations, the fear of the disintegration and some people wanting to to exit the uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 nation yeah. my my start don't you think now i tell you show i am not saying every nigerian should not be the same person in fact i've always argued and everybody i'm on record to say that that of professor onigo otite's 374 ethnic groups in nigeria through his demographic survey, he was a great sociologist that speak over 380 languages. Each of them must have a place and be respected in where he comes from. But when you want to rough it over, roughing it over others, for example, like former president Buhari calling a whole, a whole ethnic group, one of the three largest ethnic groups, the Igbos, Southeast, as a dot, in the cycle. What will you call me? A minority within a minority from Ijukwe. 
near Agene Bude, it's a co East local government area of a do state. What are you going to call me? But in America, for example, they first ask you, what's your name? You tell them. They say, where are you from? We ask you, what do you mean? You mean where I work? Or where I schooled? Or where I live now? Or where I was born? Because each of them would have been different. But they regard themselves as Americans. So they have, they have what you call faith in their country. We do not have faith in our country. How do we do that? And that is why when you go around on a Sunday, yeah. tomorrow is Sunday, today is Sunday. If you are go around, you will see different town unions. And where will you see a Nigerian union holding a meeting? So it's like the Bible. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. If we get it right, constitutionally, because the present foundations are fundamentally damaged, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are damaged. I give you an example, Shion. If you have a house that the walls are cracking, how do you repair the walls? Do you go to the walls, you take a, a hammer, you begin to chisel, you chisel it with um, a chisel, right? Then you, you, you get cement, mortar. You call it bricklayer. And say, help me patch this wall. He patches it. In one or two months' time, more chaos, more gullies, more cracks appear on the wall. You have to look for the cause of that wall. You discover that there's a big tree in your compound. Whose trees have sprouted, they have become so big that they have gone towards the foundation of the house. And it's what is actually threatening it to fall. What do you do to that tree? You don't go to the tree and cut off the branches. Because the branches will grow anyway, again. And the walls will continue to crack. You go to the tree. To the roots. To the roots. Or put it. So this this solution root and branches. The solution, the proposition of the patriot is getting to the root of Nigeria's getting problem. Getting to the root of Nigeria's so problem. So three three representation of every ethnic group. That's what the patriot said. So based on uh, the sociology's uh, 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 recommendation. So we'll be talking about uh, uh, roughly, Just roughly hundred. Uh, uh, but 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 the patriots have looked at it again after further discussion. That look. We have suggested three representation elected on no party basis. By the way, there are three modes of throwing up people to represent you. Election, selection, or sortition. What do you call sortition? By lot. Now, the petrol suggests three from each geopolitical, I mean each state. But we have looked at it again that the ethnic nationalities in Nigeria must be represented to own a people's constitution so that no person can say he was marginalized. And that is why the Patriots told the president that he needs to look seriously at the 2014 confab. confab. The reason is that there were 492 members representing every aspect of the Nigerian society, elder statesmen and women, the youth, students, the market people, the market women and men, manufacturers, the physically disabled, mm -hmm. the, the manufacturers, the, the private lawyers, sector, yeah. the police, the military, professional groups, the traditional institution, the civil society. We were all there, lecturers, judges. They threw them all from different organizations, had different ways of throwing up their own representatives, like the students. They had to go for their own election. The, the NGOs, they threw up their own. So everybody that came to Abuja here for those six months was a representative of certain people, right? But the federal government then looked at it from a critical angle. For example, I was thrown up to represent my people in a state. But somehow, 
by Professor Pelas Abracadabra Maji. My name vanished from the scene. And when the matter got to the then president, whom, by the way, I had never met as a president when he was in office, as president or vice president or active president, I never met him. People do not know. Google me and see my acerbicity, criticism of his government, as I did worry, as I am doing now. He said, why is his name not there? Put his name as a federal government delegate addendum. That is why tomorrow, when, I, when I'm going out, I hear somebody say addendum. I know that the person must have been at the 2014 confab, right? So the government nominated some few people. That was all. But so, and we made over 600 recommendations. Recommendations, which if the Buhari government had looked at, or the present government looks at, as we told Mr. President, you, we are not saying that all Nigerians' problems will evaporate in one day. But you, you would have tackled them headlong. headlong. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. And I tried to, some of us who are nation builders, I'm not a politician. I regard myself as a nation builder, a human rights activist, a pro-democracy campaigner. I sit down to think and believe about the problems of Nigeria. Do you know, Sheo, that as far back as 1986, I had taken president, the then president, Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, at the Armed Forces Ruling Council, AFRC, at the Attorney General to court, against remover of petroleum subsidy. That the judgment was December 29, 1987, by Justice Agoro. Just Google National Concord, my cousin, Ibabangida. 37 years ago, this oil subsidy we are still fighting over today. Because my argument is that, was that you cannot be made to pay for a product that you are, you are having, like other people do not have it. What late Professor Cloud Ake would describe as a disarticulate economy where you produce what you don't consume and consume what you don't produce. That thing I saw 37 years ago, shown is what we are still fighting over today. And guess what again? Mm. I was the first proponent that June 12th should be a democracy day and not May 29, which is a mere handover. I fought this over the years. Later in 2018, General Muhammad Ubuhari as president made June 12th the democracy day. The same way at the 2014 National Conference, I moved a motion that Nigeria should go back to the first national anthem, the original anthem. Although a lot of people disagree with it. Yes, a lot of people have disagreed, but the entire 492 members, one of the few instances in which there was mass consensus, they bought that motion and we all stood up instantaneously and sang Nigeria, we hear the. I wrote a book Chief, Chief of by in, that title, Nigeria, in, we hear the. In, in, this, in, this, in all of this, you've mentioned one major issue that is of paramount importance if we need to reform this country and if we need to go forward, which is the question of national unity. Uh, but we'll take a break. When we return, I'd like you to also explain how this will benefit the Nigerian poor. Because a lot of them, when you say constitution, constitution, they will ask you, uh, who constitution helps self? Because what matters to them is the food on their table and the money in their pocket and how they will feed. And I'd like you to explain the nitty gritty of how a reformation of the constitution or a birth of a new constitution will help Nigerians, especially the average person. But of course, the issue of legality. Yeah. The, the, the patriots mentioned uh, the issue of uh, referendum yeah. and how the National Assembly will come into That was a major, major yeah. legal debate. Yes, after we had a colloquium in March this year, very big colloquium attended by present governors past governors, present senators, house of rest, past ones, members of the diplomatic or captains of industry, the civil society. Um, most humbly, I presented the, the paper, uh, the lead paper, the keynote address. The patriots came to the conclusion that Nigeria was on the precipice, on a dangerous precipice. And we cannot continue to pretend 
you have a saw, then you bandage it and put sweet smelling sarsaparilla or Herman or Hugo Boss perfume, and you pretend that the saw is not there, is there. So they saw the clear and present danger of Nigeria losing it. In what and sense? I, in the sense that Nigeria is a pluralistic society. Pluralistic societies are governed by constitutions that take into consideration the peculiarity of the people, usually through federal constitutions, not the type of unitary system we are operating. The Patriots gave the example of Canada, India, and Switzerland. Pluralistic societies that have their constitution subjected to the people in a referendum, and they are united. The Patriots gave the example of Yugoslavia, which was under former Tito. They are broke up into seven countries, independent states. The Patriots gave the example of Czechoslovakia. After living together for 100 years, they are broke up into Czech and Slovakia. Coming home, we gave the example of Sudan here. They had lived together for 3,000 years. A few years ago, they broke up into Sudan and Southern Sudan, and the wars have not ended. The Patriots therefore felt that there is the need, the urgency of yesterday for Mr. President now to introduce a President's Executive Bill to the National Assembly. The fear of the National Assembly was, has always been that they are trying to be sidelined. No. Although the present constitution being militarily imposed as a schedule attached to Decree Number 24 of 1999 is not a people's constitution lying in its preamble that we, the people of Nigeria, made it when it was never subjected to a, a referendum or plebiscite, but are those we who, still know that... that it is still the constitution they're, 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 yeah, they're we those, are using. They are constitutional, uh, yeah. legal minds yeah, that no, also no, argue. No, that when we say we are, it's not the people's constitution, non-Nigerians did not draft that no, constitution. No, when they drafted it, yeah, right? that is was, the constitution. And you this, know eminent lawyers yeah, yeah. who came out was, together was this subjected? to help, to, to help yeah, yeah. draft that Was this subjected to any referendum in There are those who also say that which country of the world do you have she, every person of the country impute and impute their constitution? I will give examples during this program. Their impulse are usually through a referendum, a plebiscite. It was done by the old Midwest region on the 10th of August, 1963, for them to break away from Western region to become the fourth region in Nigeria. Now, coming to that issue, you must have the, the National Assembly participating because they are in place. Their job is that they can only amend a constitution under Section 9. A National Assembly cannot make a new constitution. It is the constitution that makes a National Assembly because the tail cannot wag the dog. But the National Assembly under Section 4 and various sections of the constitution have the powers to make laws for the peace, order, and good government of Nigeria. And one of the laws that the Patriots advised Mr. President to do an executive bill is to say, make a law convoking a constituent assembly. You can also call it constitutional assembly, constitutional congress, or constituent congress. It has many names. Make a law convening it. Then allow people to be elected on non-political partisan basis while allowing the ethnic nationalities to be there, thrown up by their people. This constituent assembly will now take into consideration the problems we are having. What are these problems? Of course, they will call for memorandum from the Nigerian people. They will look at the problems and then make a new, a brand new constitution. It is not ended. That brand new constitution must be subjected to a referendum of the people. 
Because the process by which a constitution comes into being is even more important than the contents of the constitution. When the people vote on the items, yeah or nay, and they agree finally, then you have what you call a people's constitution or an autochthonous indigenous constitution of the people. Because the people knew that they participated. Mm. So let, let me they, ask you. They, they own it. Yeah. So, so, so they let, believe in it. Let's, they let's, believe that this is now how we should take Nigeria forward. Must we forward. constitute a constituent assembly before we can fix and get a new uh, constitution? Yeah, because the people are saying that the 492 members, which would have been a damn good one, oh, it, it, it was not a constituent assembly. The same naysayers. We have to have a constituent assembly. And only the National Assembly can pass a law so in that happens? regard. Are, are then you looking the, then the, the draft yeah, constitution prof. will now be signed by Mr. President. Are you looking at the possible a lacuna? So, for example, yeah. if there is a referendum, a plebiscite, to the fact that the people of Nigeria are saying we do not want a bicameral legislature. And that's how it's going to be. You think that that's because, the way out? Because the meaning of democracy, the meaning of democracy is shown are defined famously on the 19th of November, 1863, by Abraham Lincoln during his Gettysburg Declaration. His government of the people, for the people, and by the people. That's why we call it democracy. Demos. People. Mm -hmm. Kratik. Power. Prof. That's power of the people. Now, the, the point I'm making, well, I'm Do you understand what I mean? There will be recommendations that we go into the referendum, yes. Prof. That we the uh, that we dissolve yeah we dissolve the, the, the current political constitution sure. of Nigeria sure. because where we, how do you then transit that will be we have at least nine to thirteen off cycle elections in state we do not have a regular just about twenty nine states have ele uh, have governorship election uh, constituted or uh, done at the same time uh, in the in the normal election cycle now it then means that. Let's assume that the Nigerian people say, we do not want state again. Yeah. And we, we, want, want, we want regions. Yes. What then happens? How do you transit see, see, into, in, into that? These it, are matters of details that will be in the law to be promulgated by the National Assembly. There are so many details. Do you think that the president, uh, Bola Tinobu, has the political will to make that Where Well, he should have the political will. Because these problems will not go away. But how do you solve tackle poverty it head con constitution with solving poverty? Yeah. How, is, it, is it an antidote to, to no, poverty? Oh, it is. Is it an antidote it to is. the killings in it the is. Northwest? Is it Let an me antidote tell you, to... the killings, the killings you are seeing, the poverty, the corruption, they are all symptoms of a larger problem which is the basis of what we are talking about. It's a larger problem. When you solve it, other things will fall in place. If the people decide, for example, that we do not need a wasteful national assembly of 109 senators, 360 members of the House of Representatives, each of whom has a special advisors, the special advisors having special assistance, the special assistants having personal assistance, the personal assistants having personal aids. Then you have one position carrying accretions up to 15 to 50. Draining the little money that we have. And also maybe that they will also discuss, we rest, they discuss how a state government, unlike any other federal state in, in some part of the world, we have resources under their soil and they are not able to benefit that, from that it. Is, these are some of the issues. For example, if the people decide that, look, we need only one. We don't need a bicameral legislation. We need unicameral. And maybe three six, on a part -time, three part -time 60 basis. members are enough. Or if the, all of them must stay, then we call it part time basis. They are actually operating on part time basis. Under the constitution, if you attend for six months in a year, you have passed. So if you say part time basis, then only those who have the interests of Nigeria attacked, who are not going to Abuja to make money, you will see coming up. If the president, they can also say, Professor Azekama, if President Tinubu today proposes an executive bill yeah. to the National Assembly yeah. for the constitution of a constituent assembly uh, for the for the purpose of or birthing a new constitution, you think this present National Assembly, as it is presently constituted, will agree to it? That is knowing that there might be a prime target of such. Let me tell you a process. That is why they just have to agree. 
because the problem will not go away. Like Naaman the leper in the Bible, he had to dip himself into River Jordan mm -hmm. seven times to become cleansed of his leprosy. We must clean ourselves of our political leprosy. And it requires the will of Mr. President and the National Assembly and a lot of patriotism, trailer loads of patriotism. Because the problem will not go. And by the way, she, why are we still discussing this problem? Why has it not gone away? We thought it, after, after Jonathan, yes, I discussed yes, this for yes. almost a year. Yes. So, so, in 2014, I had, I've discussed it as a journalist in 2005, covered it. It will continue to so come up. We you had, know why? In fact, there was Pronaco, you remember? Pronaco was there. We all, we all, it was not government constituted. Yeah, yeah. It was, we, we all wrote, it, it was we all participated. participated. Yeah. We all participated. Yeah, but, but the question is that the way forward is fundamental. And it's well fundamental. Not, the political elite as presently constituted, whether or not they will agree to this. Well, the political elite has to agree. Let me tell you, if you are driving a car and the car has a knocked engine, is it not the engine you should look at? You begin to pan a bit the car, spraying it with beautiful paint, buy new tires, would that move the car? I am saying that the engine of the Nigerian state for now is not. And it is giving rise to all this, this mutual suspicion, religious intolerance. Why we did not be demonstrating more against Tinubu when they did not demonstrate against Buhari for the eight years he was here? Why did the Igbo decide to quietly excuse this last protest? Because they said they would be targeted. Why are some ethnic groups more involved than others? It is at the heart of the problems we are talking about. And the president needs to look at um, um, this place broken away from uh, eastern uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Right? Yeah. Prime Minister Sheikh Hussani ruled them for 50 years. She was a pro-democracy a, a pro icon. The people loved her. But what started as a mass student's protest on the street over preferential treatment in the civil service being given to relations of veterans gradually snowballed and got bought over by the whole people. And they, they went on the streets. They have been going on, right? The woman was forced to abdicate office this very month, and a former Nobel laureate of 2006. He's a leader in acting capacity. He's now the now. leader in acting capacity. Listen, Jean, under Prime Minister uh, Osani, Bangladesh developed, there's no question about that. They built good roads, rail lines, factories, gave um, um, some jobs, but the Timmy graduates, could not get jobs. And there was corruption. Massive corruption. And the Prime Minister complained on one occasion that a personal aid mm. stole $34 million, which angered the people. So what started as a small protest gradually snowballed until she was made to abdicate Dakar, the capital city. We cannot Look, afford to get to We that cannot point. afford. That is the fear of the patron. That is the fear of a person like me. Look at Kenya. Are we, get, are we gradually moving towards it? Is that I what said Nigeria is on the precipice. You are still asking me. Hold on. Yeah. Let, can I give you just one more example? Just give me a moment. Just, just give one me a more moment. example. Give me, because we need to go on another break. But I would like to conclude and give Nigeria the way forward and how we can permanently solve this problem, not on a temporary basis. Yes. Because we do not need Panadol to solving cancer. That's it, now we you are need, talking. We need to fix it and fix it Now you are talking. We'll take another break. Chief of closing argument. Yeah. Closing the argument. permanent fix. Permanent fix. We must come together through this constituent assembly, make constitution owned by the people, subjected to their referendum so that they buy in. So if we keep poverty, it will keep it corruption. Will, it, will, it will. Because the people would have agreed. Your sector, legal as, sector, the is this said that a lot of bribery comes through the, uh, through the judiciary. Uh, the corruption in the judiciary is like the, a cancer the killing the nation. The irreducible minimum of the mass would have been agreed upon by the people. Let me tell you why President Tinibu must listen seriously to people from like From his body and, language, does it and, look like he, he, yes, he, from he, his, he was his, receptive? Yes, was he, was, he was receptive. Positive, okay. But he felt that economic reforms are his priority. Well, Mr. President, sir, that's where you are missing it. Because the economic reforms themselves 
cannot take place under a superstructure that is fundamentally flawed. Let, let me tell you, SL Akintola was premier, the last premier of Western Region. AMA Akilo, who later became chairman, I think, of the, the then uh, and, and, um, the then uh, the, the, the the party before the PDP. He went to Akintola on a visit. He went with a cassette. He played it. He said, "Sir, they are praising you everywhere, and come here that you are the best." One young man, Kazim, that was with him, a personal aide, said, "Sir, I've listened to the cassette. It's not true, sir. That is not what the people are saying." I think the time has come for you to even resign. He said, ah, no. These are written in a book. He said, no, it's too late now for me to resign. Of course, the problem came. It was consumed. Tafa Balewa, as prime minister, was at the airport in Ikeja. And a journalist asked him, sir, what do you do about this wildfire burning the west, the western region? He said, I'm at Ikeja here, at the airport. Ikeja is a part of western region. I can't see any fire burning. Do you understand what I'm saying? Niger countries that subjected their constitutions after the people agreed. South Africa. Do you understand me? Kenya. You understand me? Slovenia. Denmark. Norway. France. Germany. Are they better for it? UK. They are better for it. So Nigeria needs to take Iraq, action now. Iran. Indonesia. Malaysia. We need to take that action. We must face the bull. We must hold it by the so that the bull must be driven away from the China shop in such a way that little or no harm is done to the China West or to the shop and the bull stays alive. Right. We must save Nigeria from herself with the coming. urgency of yesterday. Mr. President, sir, I advise you when you when you were sworn in May last year, is there Google? I say if the only thing you can first do for Nigeria is to fix Nigeria up through this people's constitution that we all believe in as to how we want to live together going forward. I said, you will see all that problems falling in, being solved by themselves. Naturally. Naturally. Right. Will, they will fall in place. Professor, Professor, we are totally out of time, but I must sincerely thank you tonight yes. yeah. for your intervention yes, I, and um, extend my regards to all the members of the Patriot and every Patriot that is not a member of the Patriot that are of the Nigerian stock. Yeah. Congratulations to you because we realize that we have a problem as a people. Yes. And we are moving gradually yes. with the consciousness in the mind of a lot of Nigerians. Yes. Nigerians are no longer docile. Yes. They have now the, realized the, the, that the youth, their destinies the, are yes. now in the, their hands. The, the youth, the Gen 6, the Gen Z, they, they are all protesting because they are yesterday have been stolen from them. And they we are cannot today, allow today also are today, to be stolen and to, away. Today has also been stolen. And they are now arguing that you can't steal my, my, future. my future again. That is why they are on the streets. Sir, Mr. President, sir, don't let anybody deceive you. Go out by yourself. There is hunger. All right. There is starvation. There is anger. All right.